General Aviation Airports are valuable assets to the communities they serve. These public facilities add to the quality of life while impacting local economies as they meet the transportation needs of residents, visitors, and businesses. Many of Florida's General Aviation Airports were built by the military during World War II as pilot training facilities. Once the demand for training subsided, the military gave these aviation facilities to the nearest communities for general aviation purposes. The original asphalt pavements at many of these airports have since deteriorated beyond safe use. Like many old general aviation airports around the state, the Fernandina Beach Municipal Airport was in dire need of major rehabilitation to restore runway 826 and taxiway C in order to expand flight operations at the airport. The original asphalt pavement at the Fernandina Airport runways and taxiways was over 50 years old. It had severe cracking and significant rutting. Only one runway, 422, had received an asphalt overlay. This was the only functional runway. In the past, municipalities would consider asphalt overlay or complete asphalt reconstruction as restoration alternatives. In some cases, due to the high cost of restoration and maintenance, cities have simply allowed the deterioration to continue. Now, a new alternative exists to continue or restore operation at these general aviation airports. It is commonly known as white topping in the paving industry. White topping is a concrete overlay on asphalt pavements. It is used to restore cracked or rutted asphalt pavements on highways and airports. White topping can also be used to upgrade pavement capacity to carry more and heavier traffic. White topping utilizes conventional concrete materials and mixes, and it is placed with conventional concrete paving equipment. When concrete is placed on top of the asphalt, the result is a composite pavement where the concrete and the asphalt act together to support additional load or sustain heavy traffic without damage. This is possible due to the rigid concrete surface on top, which does not yield. Cracks in the original pavement will not reflect upward through the white topping surface. White topping is designed to be placed in a variety of thicknesses. For thin and conventional white topping, the concrete thickness can range from 5 to 12 inches. Ultra-thin white topping features concrete thickness of 4 inches or less. Nationwide, white topping has become a viable alternative in many airports for rehabilitation and restoration of distressed asphalt runways, taxiways, and aprons. White topping provides a 20 to 30 year service life. Where applicable, white topping is more cost effective than removing the old pavement and reconstructing with a new base and asphalt pavement. It generally lasts three times longer than any asphalt overlay because unlike asphalt overlays, cracks in the original pavement will not reflect upward through the white topping surface. Another important advantage of white topping is its light color compared to asphalt, which greatly improves runway visibility to pilots. And the white topping process minimizes runway closure time. White topping creates a maximum bond with asphalt, resulting in a much stronger pavement system. The white topping surface achieves operational strength within three days and offers minimum maintenance throughout its service life. As a result, long-term guarantees are available for white topping surfaces. The City of Fernandina Beach teamed with the Florida Department of Transportation and the FAA to determine costs for restoration of the Fernandina Airport. A cost comparison analysis was performed that took into consideration the initial restoration costs plus maintenance costs over 20 or 30 years. Based on the life cycle analysis, white topping was selected as the alternate to restore runway 826 and taxiway C at Fernandina Airport. An innovative contracting method was developed that required long-term pavement guarantees. Bidding contractors were required to provide a minimum five-year guarantee on all white topping pavements and could extend the guarantee up to 10 years. Credit on bid price was given for every guarantee year beyond the fifth year. Despite the guarantee requirement, all bidding contractors provided a 10-year guarantee and the cost of the bid items for concrete were much lower than engineering projections in all four bids. With funding assistance from the Florida Department of Transportation and the FAA, 
the city of Fernandina Beach agreed to restore the airport. Early in the process, the project planning team developed specifications for the concrete mix. The new surface was to meet the need for restoring and maintaining strength. The white topping on runway 826 was 100 feet wide and 6 inches thick. On taxiway C, the white topping was 48 feet wide and 5 inches thick. No milling of the existing asphalt was required except where needed to adjust the final grade of the white topping. After planning and scheduling, the white topping construction began. The contractor, Ajax Paving, set up an on-site concrete batching plant. All concrete and base materials were stockpiled on-site prior to the start of construction. Concrete trucks were used to haul concrete the short distance from the batch plant to the paving site. A 25-foot slip form paver and a concrete spreader were used in all paving operations. Paving started at the full depth 11-inch section and proceeded on to the existing asphalt pavement. The paver moved at an average speed of 6 feet per minute, producing roughly a mile of pavement per day. Each pass of the paver produced a 25-foot wide paving lane. The curing and tining of the pavement surface were performed mechanically. In addition to the use of curing compound, the pavement surface was sprayed with water intermittently to ensure adequate curing conditions. All joints were cut using the early age or green saw machines. The joints were cut to a depth of one-third of the pavement thickness. Joints in the full depth sections were sealed, while the joints in the white topping sections remained unsealed. The actual paving operation took only 11 days to complete. The concrete achieved full strength within three days, allowing construction traffic to use the pavement. The white topping project at Fernandina Municipal Airport met the expectations of the city, the FDOT, and FAA. The slip form method of paving resulted in a very smooth riding surface. Over time, the white topping should also prove to be durable and very low maintenance compared to other alternatives. The white topping can be easily maintained in case of any deficiency. This is due to the small slabs or panels in the pavement. Distressed panels can be easily and quickly replaced with minimum, if any, interruption to airport operation. Another benefit of the white topping comes from increased visibility and prominence of runways when viewed from the air. The lighter surface of the white topping makes it easier for pilots to find the airport in all weather conditions, enhancing the operational safety of the airport. The ultimate benefit of the white topping project is that the community of Fernandina Beach now has expanded airport operations with a safe pavement that is guaranteed for 10 years. The city can look forward to minimum, if any, maintenance expense for many years to come.